Okay, we're back with another video. Like I said before, uh, if you're new to the channel, usually it uh, has to do with the outdoor uh, gear, gear reviews and uh, outdoor camping and hiking. But right now I'm talking about Mimilus. And what I'm showing you, what I'm going to show you here, this is my other bag. If you haven't watched my other video, we'll put a near the end of the this video. I'll likely put a over here or down here or up here. We'll try to do up here. I'll put a link to it. It's on all the clothes I own. And when I was talking in that video, this bag here, this has all my winter clothes. So we'll get right into it. Very simple. If you're watching the other video, same same bag. It's a 50 liter uh, dry bag. And in the top here, it's a little different because I have a few extra Maxpedition pouches. And these are the newer ones. So this is just a spare one. You know, I have a you know a few spares in there. Now this one here is a little talking about these Maxpedition pouches. These are the originals. These are mediums. This here is a medium, but the newer one's a little bit bigger. And the older style, which I still like the older style, because you can get them in different colors. This one only comes in this color. This is see-through. This is breathable. You know, in the front is too, right in here. This one's sealed. It's not waterproof, but it's but it's sealed. Like there's no holes through this. And instead of, in this Maxpedition, they added a, a sleeve. This one they added a zipper. So you can put stuff in. It's kind of nice. The only thing I did, the original Maxpeditions come with this. Little paracord ties, which I like. This one came with zippers. I don't like. So I added my own little pole. I cut the zipper off, the middle zipper. Added my own tab on there. And these are Maxpedition pole tabs. I added those, so I, I bought those. You can buy these separate, different sizes. I'm not sure what size this is, but so these are Maxpedition pull stat tabs. I just added those instead. I just, I'm just a big fan of the the pull tabs. I find zippers, anything that has a zipper on it, that's a bag or a zipper. I don't like it because it, it clangs around. So yeah. So in the top part, like I said, this is my winner. This is my winner kit. So. Right here, I keep that in the top. These are my heavy duty, uh, these are my uh, deer skin gloves. Gauntlet, gauntlet gloves, I believe. These are deer skin. These things are amazingly warm. I take these with me sometimes, but I never have to use them. But this is for extreme cold, and they do work. Now I have miscellaneous stuff in this top part, you know. So like I have some. Uh, uh, this is a microfiber towel, a pretty pretty big towel. And usually this is my gear. So this here's my Gators. Outdoor uh, research. I pair these with my boots. And I'm going to show you right now. Get that back in there. So we'll go to this first bag right here, and, and this changes all the time. Like after I'm done this video, I can change this all up again. Because just recently, maybe just five days ago, I just added this bag to it because my boots were somewhere else, and I did have the room in here. This was this was never full, and I wasn't sure if it was going to work because I had another one of these. I've, I've I've used this for clothes before, and I don't I didn't want to use it for clothes anymore. So I uh, used it for my boots. So as you can see, there's my winter boots. This is the only pair of winter boots I have because I'm a minimalist. And that's it. You can see they're they're no bigger than a shoe, but they're winter and they work perfect. And the only reason they work that way is because I pair them with my uh, gaiters, my outdoor research gaiters. So when you add this to this boot, it makes it lightweight, but it also protects you all the way up to your your leg. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy lightweight. 
And that's what you want when you're hiking, especially in the snow or moving. And I gotta say, because this covers most of the footwear and the way I do it, like the combination of this, you can't go wrong. So, and that's it, and that's, that's how I, uh, so you can be a minimalist and, and have lightweight clothing and that works for you. So when I go hiking in the winter or any kind of camping, this I always pair this up with this. In the top part here, I've only wore these once. And this, this is a, a, a like a, I think it's a marmot. Pretty sure it's marmot somewhere here. Pretty sure it is because it matches my radio marmot. Yeah, it's marmot. It's an extra large. These are my uh, rain pants. Rain pants, not snow pants. Rain pants. I don't have snow pants because I don't require them. <laughs> I don't need them. The only time I would use this, I would never hike in that. I would never hike in these. I would, I would sweat to death. So yeah, so right there I got my rain pants in there, my footwear. I like that little uh, storage system. Got the gators, we'll throw those back in here. This, this bag holds quite a bit actually, and the zipper part up here, like that zipper part holds quite a bit. So we'll bring it to the next bag. Now this one here, I do believe. So this is this is some new stuff that I bought. I bought an extra pair of gloves. These are Camelback gloves. These, I love hiking in these. These are a new pair. I just got maybe four or five months ago. And this here is Icebreaker Merino Wool Long Johns. These are uh, 150 weight, I believe. I have another pair. And I'm, I'll, I'll, when I leave the house, I never hike in them. I just sweat. I just, I just can't do it. <laughs> not the way I dress. So I'm hoping now I can put these on. We'll hike in these. And I only have one pair, but I'd like to get one more pair of these. I'd like to have two pair of these. These are really thin. Like these are so, so thin. Like these are 150 weight. So hopefully I can hike in these. That'll keep me warm. And this is another wool. This is a 100% wool sweater. So what else we got in here? What's in this? Oh yeah. Now, this bag's a little different. I showed you this before. This was in my other kit. Underwear, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five pair of underwear. These are all brand new. These are a brand new set of underwear in this one. So everything in this bag is actually brand new that I haven't worn yet. This here, and I haven't worn this. This is brand new. This is brand new. These gloves are brand new. I'm still using the other ones. They're not wore out yet, but I find these are so small. These gloves, these are a Camelback glove, but the way they fit, they fit perfect because I measured my hand. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because they're so thin. They, they, they do get wet. I have gotten them wet, but they dry out fast. I find they dry out fast. So, and the, this is what I use for chopping wood. So I'm out, these are like a work glove. But yeah, so, that. you don't need a lot of winter clothing. This one's a little overstuffed now. This one's, this one's stuff. So. Yeah, so when you get into stuff like this, I got some extreme stuff in here. Like, this is a balaclava. That's an extreme for extreme cold. It's not made, it's not wool either. So then you got your other wool. I have used this before. Wool balaclava. Yeah, I have, I have worn that. I've slept in that before. So I got my, uh, another, uh, this is a wool power. These are uh, boxers. I kind of put those on sometimes too to hike in. Because just for the extra warmth. These are a pair of small, very small pull-on rain pants. And this is my other. So you can see this is a little bit more bulkier. This is what I what I was using to... Uh, this is mainly what I hike, or I, I have hiked in them, and I don't like hiking in these because these are a 200 weight uh, long johns. So I think the 150 is going to be much better for me. And then at night, when I change out, I'll put these on to sleep in. These will be my sleeping ones to give you that extra warmth. So yeah, so that's... And there's, there's my other gloves. These are a pair of, now those other two gloves I showed you, one's a winter, the other one's a, a, like a work glove. This is a winter glove. I carry both with me all the time and I just transfer them out whenever I need. These are getting more out too, but these, these, these last pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed with those. 
Now this here, this is overkill. See these socks? These, I think these are an 800 weight. Now these aren't meant to put on. These, I would never be able to put these on my feet and put them in my boots. They wouldn't fit. These are meant to sleep in. So for extreme cold, I haven't used it yet because I was trying to put together a kit for that for extreme cold. So these combined with, you know, long johns and this and the other stuff that I wear and your feet usually get cold pretty quick, but put, putting these on, these 800 weights over top of your other socks, because you sleep in your socks in the winter time. Oh, these are just like, these are like slippers. So these are huge, these are huge. So I really like that. And the other green shirt I just showed you in another bag, this is just another pullover. Another, uh, uh, I think this is another 200 weight uh, pullover. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite shirts for, for winter. So yeah, so this pullover, so usually what I'm hiking in is one of these, Sometimes I'll put one of these on, my, one of my long sleeve shirts on, it doesn't matter. It could be the, likely the same color or a black one. So when I'm hiking out in the winter, it doesn't matter, not unless it's extremely cold, I'll put my over jacket on. So when I'm hiking, I'll have my uh, pants on, my snow boots, my gaiters with my wool socks on, and I have merino wool underwear on already. And then I may add, if I know I'm going out hiking, or it depends what I'm doing, I'll add a pair of these over top of my underwear. Another insulator. And then I'm going to add, like, like I said, a t-shirt like this, a long sleeve, and then I'm going to add this. I'm going to add my sweater, and that's it. I will not put an over jacket, I will not put another, like a, another uh, jacket, because I'm moving. I'll start to sweat. I, it'll be too hot. Only if it gets cold, then I'll take my pack off, or if I, wherever I get to, or if I get too warm, then I'll put it on, but it's like, you put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. But I've hiked just before in the cold with three layers, a t-shirt, my long sleeve shirt, and this. This is all I need, and I am fine. And then a toque, and a toque, right? I put my toque on for this one because this is the winter, the winter setup. This is a brand new toque, by the way. I find it, it was on sale, so about that way back, way back, so. I haven't got to use like I haven't got to use this one here. As you can see, this is a medical. Uh, this is this is for extreme cold. So I don't know how that's going to work yet. This this will not freeze up like in the cold to breathe through, anyways. So yeah, so I'm really impressed with some of this stuff. I just hope it. Uh, and and that's it. That's I was trying to put together, and this is kind of like an extreme cold winter kit. I was trying to put together, but I just look at the temperature now. And I don't worry. So these are another pair. These are wool mitts. These are a liner. They come in handy. You know, there's another one. Same company, Wool. This is from Wool Power, not Icebreaker. Wool Power. They'll fit in those gauntlet, those uh, gauntlet mitts I showed you earlier. The leather deer skin, they'll fit in there. So in the bottom we got a buff. Actually I got, I think I have three of these. So these, these are just buffs. You just put them over, and you, I'll, you'll see me some, I'll just put them up, I'll put a toucan and just pull them up over my face. They, they come in handy too. Uh, my new thing is actually, I, I, I wear one of those around my neck now and I sleep in that. So if it gets cold, I'll, I'll breathe into that. And in my other kit, that's in my other bag here, that always stays in my other one here. I have another toque, and it's a gray one. It's identical to this one. It's a gray. It, it doesn't get used that much because it's my winter toque. So when I get to camp, I switch out my toques to sleep in. Oh, yeah, we're just into that bag. Plus, I got another spare. I got another spare toque. So we're just into this, and this is a different style tube. So when I ordered it online, they said I ordered this one. They sent me this one, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that you could change the color. I don't. When I first got it, it was like this. I said, "What happened?" I only I only ordered black, but you can switch this one in the inside note. This is it's not bad. It does fit. It's a little different, but but they were both on sale anyway. So I just went back in and I ordered this one again, and I, I got them both on sale, but. This one here is actually more money though. This this one costs more, so I don't know what happened there. Somebody wasn't uh when they when I placed the order, they didn't pay attention. 
they gave me the more expensive toque, but hey, I thought, hey, I can, I can use, always use a spare, a spare, uh, spare toque. And then in, in here, there's a, these are extra uh, boxers, underwear. I got two of them in here, two boxers. I got a deal on these. These are expensive. These are icebreaker boxers. So like I said, I'll wear those over my other regular brief underwear, just for extra warmth. Those are free because of what I bought. I bought some clothing that was on sale. They had a good, pretty good promotion. Way back in April, they did, or May, whenever it was. And whatever you bought, if you purchased them that week, because I purchased two different things, I got them on sale. My, my, my I think it was those long sleeve shirts. These were free, which is a good bonus because these are a value at 40 bucks a piece. So that was a good deal. Yeah, so in this one here, I got my uh, Shimog. You know, just wrap that around. That'll keep you keep you warm. And here, these are just shorts. These is what this is what I use around camp in the not so much only in the summertime. I like I like to sleep in the summer, so when I jump up, see, so just regular pair of shorts. For, they're icebreaker. Not really pleased with those ones, though. They well, they rip easy. They rip easy. Good thing I bought them all on sale. So, what's in this one? Yeah. So this is my other. This is a. This is another uh, icebreaker merino wool. This is a 200 weight. This is my zip up jacket with a hood on it. So that's all that is. It zips up with a hood. I like that. So this is still in here, but this is usually what I wear all uh, winter. Just jumping into the car, going to the groceries. This is what I usually usually uh, wear. Kind of like that. That's the only one I have. I did have a brown one, but I got rid of it because I just wasn't using it no more. That's the winter clothing right there so far. What else we got in there? Yeah, and this one here, this is part of my extreme. So this one here, this is huge. As you can see the bulk of that, that's huge. That's another wool power. That's a 600 weight uh, zip up jacket. Very heavy weight. I would never take that camping because it's too heavy. I, I tried it. It's What that's for is for sitting around. So. That's great if you, if you, depends on how you camp. But I, I just don't need it because I know what temperature now, how cold I can go out. That's for sitting around or standing still. So if I put that on and just sit, I'm, I'm fine. I can sleep likely outside in the snowbank with that on with the way I dress. It's just, it's just crazy. These are my two jackets right here. Two jackets all rolled up. Now, one was a mar. I got rid of my marmot way back. My marmot messed it up. I think this is a Columbia now. I'm pretty sure this is a Columbia jacket. Yeah, so this is a Columbia jacket. This is my Columbia light rain jacket. This is very light, very light. This is my marmot. My yeah, this is my other marmot. I can't remember what this one is, but the, so this is all the jackets I have. So when I go hiking, right now it's fall out, so I can still get away with my rain jacket. This is more than enough. When it hits into winter, I could like to get away with the, I like to usually in December, if I'm going hiking or camping, I start wearing my Marmot because this is a little heavier weight and the price is like, this is $100. This is about $300, <laughs> but it's a rain jacket, but it, it, it is friggin' awesome. This thing is. This is my outer shell. I do not own a winter coat. I'll never own a winter coat again. I don't need one. Not unless I'm going too extreme, like, oh, unless you're going way, way up north. But I've already hiked, I've already hiked at minus 20. I've been out at minus 26. I'm fine with this. So this is, this is my outer shell. So if I put everything on and I put this on, depends on the temperature. Like I say, I would never, I throw my backpack on. This is for around camp. So when it gets cool, when I'm not moving, I have my other stuff on, I throw this on, I get warm, this comes back off. This goes on and off, on and off. But these are my only two jackets. Yeah, no winter jacket. Some people say, oh, it's hard to be a minimalist because you're in Canada. Well, I'm in Canada, I don't, I don't have a winter jacket. I do not have a winter jacket. So that's it, that's, that's it. And that's, if you can see there, 
you know. Oh, let's throw this other one back in. Leave that out. As you can see, pretty heavy there. That's all my winter gear. That's all my winter gear right there. More than enough for what I do. And because the, the reason I like merino wool or any kind of wool there, it, uh, it, it, it's why I wear it in the summer. Because in the summer it keeps you cooler, the lightweight stuff, and then in the winter it keeps you warm. Now, if I was just to wear that stuff and without the layers, the wind will blow right through that. Like, so that's why you gotta have an outer shell, it's like if it's windy out. But then again, I'm a little different. I kind of like the cold. So if you're, a, if you're a cold person, then you're gonna dress, you're gonna dress warmer. You're likely gonna have to have the extra weight or the extra clothing. Everyone's different. And the other reason is why I go this, this system is because when I put everything on, it's really tight to the body. It's not really tight, but it's thin. I'm not bulked out. I'm not like, my jacket's not like this because I have to put a pack on, I have to, the pack has to go on. So I'm very comfortable, same with my legs. Uh, when I put those shoes and I combine my uh, gaiters with it, very thin, it's very uh, thin. I'm not plugging around a great big hunk of boot. Like, you would just, you just kill yourself. Like, those boots are lightweight, they're like, like shoes. So I can move faster that way. Yeah, it's a great system, like you got my boots, I got everything in here for winter. So I don't go into this bag, like, this bag I just don't go into, like through the summer anyway. Through the winter, I only pick a few things out, and I get dressed before I go out, and I take a few other little things, depend on the temperature. You know, I gotta look at the temperature first, and if it's gonna be extreme, if I think it's gonna drop down, which it has before, it has, <laughs> but I didn't have, but, but I already know, I've already been out before several times in the cold, and the gear that I have now, I'm, I'm, more, I'm more way ahead of the game than I was before. So, yeah, so I hope this helps. So, if anyone's thinking about, uh, you need a lot of, a lot of gear, you don't. Like you don't need a lot of winter stuff. It's, it's crazy. And the other thing is, you know, when I go out and I, and I go camping, I come back, yeah, I wash everything. And I might not go back out again for two or, or you know, another, another week or something, right? So the gear will already be washed. You know, you don't need, you don't need, like I don't need five leggings. There's no way. There, there's no way. You just don't need that many. You just need a few. Like I, like I said, I like to get another pair because they, I, those ones I just bought, and I was just hoping that they fit, and they fit perfect. So I think they're going to work really well. They're going to be really great for what I do, anyways. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to the winter cam winter camping. I can't wait to get out and do some winter hammy camping. Really, yeah, because I still got my under quilt that I never uh, tried that I bought just before all this crap happened, and I couldn't get out. I couldn't get out. It was all last minute. So I'm looking forward to use my. Uh, under quilt from uh, that's from hammock gear, yeah. So with that under quilt, no more uh, mattress to blow up, and then a combination of this, oh, I should be fine. So, so hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video, and don't forget to click the like button or and subscribe if you haven't been a subscriber. I'll come up with some more videos soon. Like I said, usually my videos are on outdoors, outdoor adventures, hiking, camping, just enjoying the outdoors. But I like to throw my minimalist stuff in there just uh, because. This is part of how I live, being a minimalist, and it also works with your gear. So I've been shrinking down my camping gear, it's the same thing, because I don't want to carry that much, it's just too heavy. But yeah, so I'm very happy with that. Two bags of clothing, so I got, like, like I said, one of these, winter, which is winter, my other one summer, two bags. And this can change, I can change this up as I go. I may down the road get rid of some, add some, but like, like I said, you don't need, you don't need, because if I have this shirt on and another shirt underneath, then I, have, I pull that other shirt over top the sweater, that thing's not getting dirty. I don't get that dirty. Like, I just don't get it dirty. <laughs> so when I come home, I don't have to wash that right away. That's an outer, that's, that's been on three layers. It just doesn't get dirty. So yeah, well, later.